Hey guys, welcome to DJ School Minis. My name's Corey and I'm here to show you another quick effects tip that can really help you in the long run. Now, I had some great responses from last week's video, so we're going to add on top of what we've already learned. Just a quick refresher, last week we used noise in correlation with trans. does a great build up effect. What we can do now is we can manually control the trans ourselves and instead of adding trans on the effect is add a reverb. This gives the noise an extra tail and blends it in a step further. I'll show you. Noise, reverb, see how it's got a little bit of longer tail and it feels like it's not as abrupt as so, to use it correctly though, we have to get some settings right. To control the reverb and the trans at the same time, we want to put the channel we're using on the A side of the crossfader. And we start the crossfader in a B position. This gives us our trans effect. On top of that, we also want to do reverb. Now, if we put reverb on channel 2 alone, It's going to get reverb on the noise, but only when the crossfader is on. And turns it off straight away. So what do we want to do to combat this is have the effect channel select on crossfader A. That means anything on crossfader A channel will have that reverb tail. Let's have a listen now. Simple as that. Let's put it on top of a track and go from there. Cue up the track and the build up ready. We want to turn noise on and I'm going to use noise on channel three. Crossfader select is on A for channel three. Turn rever reverb on and let's do it. Thank you very much guys, hope you enjoyed it.